hopefully the camera will cooperate it's uh been getting into the negative digits fahrenheit at night i don't use uh celsius i don't believe it's a real temperature scale i think it's fake but uh yeah it's been i think last night was like minus 11. so it's kind of tough to keep the camera gear working in cold weather i've been keeping it in my pocket with hat hot packs and just taking it out for brief periods when i want to film something so today's topic is i've had people stealing from my uh spots nothing major but uh you know i've stashed uh shovels and uh a rake that's what's disappeared so far i had a snow shovel i had used to maintain the trail and a rake mainly to hide the path into my my final trail into my place where i actually sleep and habitate and when i'd come out Obviously, I got a rake in my hand that I don't want to take into town, so I just would hide it in the woods. I would stop along the trail and press it down into the snow, cover it with snow, and that was had been good. But I've been getting the impression somebody's been coming all the way up here and poking around. And I hope they're not doing it just to screw with me. But earlier in the season when I'd made the videos about how to... Uh, create a stealth camp and a stealth trail people are going oh he's paranoid you know no i know how people are now we're in the middle of the winter and my life depends on this structure and people are deliberately coming up here following the trail just to screw with me maybe it's not people it could be just one guy it looks like someone on skis so you know, that's just kind of what I've seen where we're at as a society. And a big reason why I've been wanting to bow out of it is just the amount of time people spend screwing with one another, you know? Life, life is hard, even if you're just going nose to the grindstone all day, every day, like I've been doing for the past decade. I don't have time to screw with people, you know? And it, it, it always... I mean, honestly, it pisses me off the amount of time I have to spend in my day dealing with people who I know full well are just screwing with me. And it comes across from a wide variety of sources, you know, either, you know, rake thief guy or shovel thief guy or, uh, you know, someone messaging me on Facebook apparently just to see if they can get a rise out of me about something I'd posted for sale, you know, I get that a lot. I see that on Craigslist too. I think that's why a lot of people, honestly, it's not just that they're, you know, self-centered and narcissistic. I really think a lot of people, if they sense anything a little bit off in the ad, like if you say serious parties only, they will call you just to like chit chat you to see if they can get a rise out of you. I swear, I've, I've been advertising online for uh, as long as it's been around, and I've seen it kind of deteriorate into that. Craigslist was pretty good when it first started, and then it just turned into a cesspit, and uh, Marketplace has done the same thing. A lot of people that, you know, walk up to me on the street trying to start some altercation, although uh, I will say that has definitely declined dramatically since I started wearing the GoPro. That's originally why I got the GoPro, is just the amount of altercations, sometimes violent, I would get in just walking around Anchorage trying to do my daily chores, you know, get groceries, take my mail to the post office, get my customers' orders out, things like that, and it would result in some major altercation, which I'd never initiated, just some guy harassing me while I was trying to walk someplace. And had one yesterday, and I couldn't, uh, couldn't get out of it. Got to the point I actually reached for my pistol. I carry a uh, pneumatic riot gun. It is not a firearm, because I don't want to deal with the legality of that. Yeah, I was crossing the street. He jumped on me right in the middle of the crosswalk. 
So I don't like to have conversations with people in the middle of a freaking crosswalk in Anchorage with cars buzzing by. That's the first red flag. And uh, he wants to know for Fred where Fred Myers is. I point straight at it as the crow flies. I keep walking. I try three or four more diversions to get this guy off me. And then it's a cigarette. And then it's some money. Finally told this guy, I said, I'm not playing around. You need to back off. You're not going to come up and crowd me like that. You're not going to get in my personal space. And I started to reach for my pistol, and then he started to kind of get the message. He backed off. But even at that, he was so out of it, I had to walk out into the traffic to get away from him. You know. It's just, uh, that's, that's why I've been wanting to get off grid, to just get away from all these freaking weirdos. It's like... Man, it's almost impossible to just meet like a normal person anymore to have a normal freaking interaction with. I would say it, it may be impossible. I don't know where you'd go to find that. I'm certainly not going to see it at a bar. I can't think of any other place. You know, I go to the library every day. Everybody I run into down there seems like they're crazy. Posted a video the other day about the security guard you know, following me into the bathroom. And that wasn't the first time. This had been an ongoing issue with that particular girl just kind of following me around, hovering over me. I've seen it down there before. I ended up taking that video down because I don't like to do drama videos. But you got to wonder what's getting wrong with people these days where they'll steal a man's rake. You know, I mean, seriously, he probably figures there's some guy, homeless guy up living up here. And he's just, I don't know, probably some rich retired guy, you know, was an engineer for years and needs a, needs some kind of, what did uh, Uncle Ted call it? The, uh, some sort of power process to fill the vacuum in his life. And he's going to seek that power process over screwing with me, trying to find out where I'm sleeping and stealing my rakes. And he can't find out where I sleep because I hid the trail too well. He knows there's someone up there. It's driving him crazy. And he's like, ah, oh, I got his rake. <sighs> I don't like to say that I hate people because I don't hate all people. Ironically, I like most of my customers. That's a general rule. If I don't like someone, I don't sell to them. And that's why I generated these stalkers in some of the Facebook farm and garden groups because I blocked so many of the nutcases that run these groups. And so they get their little uh, stalker armies after you. <sighs> this whole time this whole past 10 years all I've been trying to do is get my nursery business going that's all I've focused on haven't been going out haven't been socializing I just work 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 and all people want to do is come and screw with me I'm trying to hinder that process it's like you're trying to make the gears of the universe grind in some different way and those are a lot of gears and big ones you gotta change around i'll probably be having more of these uh, morning hike videos because the we're starting to get into the lengthening days and so start running into more daylight as I'm hiking out. I had been hiking out at night or dark, I should say. It's not night. It's like, you know, seven or eight o'clock in the morning. I think it's probably about 930 right now. I'm kind of running late, partly because of the cold. I don't get cold in my shelter. Once I get those couple of blankets up over me and I'm in the sleeping bag and yeah, I don't feel cold. It's just that I know that it's going to be out here and I'm gonna to have to deal with it. I'm gonna to have to put on an extra layer of gloves. You know, I'm gonna to have to have my neck guard on. I'm gonna to have to have everything just so. And part of what I do is send, sit there or lay there mentally preparing, kind of half awake to make sure that I don't forget something because it's been an uneventful winter. I haven't really been cold. 
at all. I mean, a little bit of fingertips here and there when I was trying to grab something or tie my shoes, but uh, nah, really haven't been cold. It really amazes me how unprepared I see people out and about. Like I've been hitting some of these food banks and some of the areas they help the homeless both to see what I get for myself and maybe film a little bit for the YouTube channel. And I'm amazed how unprepared some of these homeless people are. It's like, bro, I know you got issues, okay? We know that. But you knew this winter thing was coming again. I mean, I just don't see how you can't get some kind of preparedness. I've gotten probably a half dozen pairs of gloves off of those people at some of these these areas where they hand out stuff. And trust me, they don't go to waste. I got two pairs on me right now. I've got pairs in my office space. I've got some in my sleeping area. I've got some at the friend's house at Anchorage where I stop off, you know, so I don't ever have to worry about you know, needing gloves, and then if I see somebody that needs a pair, then I can give them a pair too. But uh, these people are just like, they don't have a hat, they don't have gloves. I'm like, come on, man. Put some effort in. I'm sure a lot of the stuff gets stolen too, the same kind of, if, if somebody's gonna steal your rake, trust me, they'll steal your hat. I just wish I'd had more time to, uh, time to uh, prepare. I'm going to shut this off right now because I don't want these people in the thing. Got Normie bombed there. Let's get a little closer to the trail, the main trail. So I'll probably just cut it right there. It's uh, today's morning hike video. Thieves and other people that bother you. Hopefully I can succeed at my goal of just uh, removing myself from the system. I've fairly well removed myself already. I just had to throw this up, uh, this living situation up at the end of last fall because I had two insane landlords in a row. The first was one I'd been at for a while, basically. Drove me insane, caused my heart failure, and then the other guy was just some con man. So I ended up uh, throwing this up in the fall. I don't even think I'm gonna screw with trying to find land this year. I just talked to a lady the other day, and I'd been trying to get a break in my schedule for about a week to even talk to someone, because it's just go, 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 you know? And so I finally get a break, you know, talk to her for all of about 30 seconds. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah. I'm calling this conversation right here. I mean, she was just saying inappropriate stuff right off, right from the jump. Like first thing she asked me is who's the girls in the photos. I'm like, come on, really? You know, I spent 10 years on this fricking business and you're worried about some model or something in some of the photos or somebody I had working for me one day or, it's like, God, you're just you're just a mental midget, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna interact with you. So, I already got this fairly well set up. This is just a base camp I've been building to jump off into the deeper wilderness. And once I'm back there, nobody's gonna be able to find me in the you know all this open space. I can just grow whatever I want, pretty much. I've already proven I can survive out here. So. Uh, the only thing I can't really have is uh, livestock. I don't think that's going to work. So I'm going to have to uh, still think about buying some land eventually, but uh, I can definitely last a few years doing this. I just need to get farther out so people ain't stealing my rakes. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the content today. If you did, tell me below. If you didn't, tell me below and we'll just block each other. That's kind of the new way things are done in the 21st century. Have a great day.